So what if it goes bad? What if it's working? You know, is the customer going to make you come back out and repool that cable with, I don't know, a hybrid fiber copper solution instead, which is going to be more money than an extended distances balanced twist a pair cable solution. Again, it all boils down to education. Education. The client's going to ask you why, the client's still going to ask you why is fiber still preferred? And you need to be able to explain those trade offs. You know, when fiber is going to be okay for this, but the cost savings, if, if you got a camera out there that's 100 megabit, 100 megabit, you don't need a piece of fiber going to it. Okay. You just don't. So this just drives me crazy on, on the internet, on low voltage forms. Just do fiber. Just do fiber. Just do fiber. No, fiber is not always the answer. It's not always the answer. So now let's look at it from an estimator's position, a designer's position, an engineer's position. You need to go back and then uh, need to go back and revisit those budget models. 